today students so for today's lesson we will discuss state society and interaction module 5 in our subject philippine politics and governance political parties political parties is distinguished from pressure groups in that it is a group of people with common interests whereby the same is being institutionalized as a matter of an advocacy and translated the program for governance once they are elected to the office. This is the lawful and legitimate way of asserting one's advocacy because it is done through the peaceful way during the period political exercise. This is acceptable because the election to office of the proponents means that their programs of governance as presented to the electorate are accepted by the majority. Moreover, the different political parties with different platforms of governance can be more evaluated as to the merits and demerits in the free market of ideas that gives life to the democratic process. Hence, a free and open party system shall be allowed to evolve according to the free choice of the people. In addition to this, the first political party system was originated in the U.S. or in the United States. It featured the Federalist Party and the Anti-Federalist Party which became known as Democratic Republican Party and was sometimes called Jeffersonian Republican. And as you can see in our images, symbols are also used by political parties in their campaigning and printed on ballot papers where a voter must make a mark to vote for the associated party the same happening here in our country during the election one of their purposes is to facilitate voting by illiterate people who cannot read parties names on ballot papers but only to recognize those symbols. Political party also refers to an organized group of citizens advocating an ideology or platform principles and policies for the general conduct of government and which as the most immediate means of securing their option regularly nominates certain of its leaders and members as candidate for public office. So in addition to this, essentially here in the Philippines, political parties are groups of people with similar interests who work together to create and implement policies. They do this by gaining control over the government by winning elections. Party platforms guide members of Congress in drafting legislation. Parties guide proposed laws through Congress and inform party members how they should vote on important issues. Political parties also nominate candidates to run for state government, Congress, and presidency. Finally, they coordinate political campaigns and mobilize voters. So, for example, the famous blabber and the journalist Rafi Tulpo being a candidate for the upcoming senatorial election, probably nominated by XCIS. So, this XCIS is a political party. It is an anti-crime and terrorism community involvement and support party list. It is a political organization which aim for a partless representation in the House of Representatives of the Philippines. Suffrage Suffrage is a political franchise or simply franchise and it is relating to a person's right to vote in public political elections although the term is sometimes used for any right to vote. Suffrage may be exercised by all citizens of the Philippines, not otherwise disqualified by law, for at least 18 years of age, 
and in the place wherein they propose to vote for at least six months, immediately preceding the election. So in suffrage, no literacy, property, or other substantive requirement shall be imposed on the exercise of suffrage. So who may exercise suffrage? The following may exercise suffrage if they are a Filipino citizen, at least 18 years of age, reside for at least 6 months immediately preceding the election where he proposes to vote, and he has none of the disqualification as provided for by election law. S Sanctity of the ballot the Congress shall provide a system for securing the secrecy and the sanctity of the ballot, as well as a system for absentee voting by qualified Filipino abroad. Congress is mandated to enact laws which shall ensure the sanctity and secrecy of the ballot. It means to say that the ballots which contain the people's votes should be treated with the highest respect as to preserve its dignity and integrity, including its secrecy, in order to ensure clean, honest, and credible election and to avoid manipulation during election. Absentee Voting Considering that millions of Filipinos are working abroad whose participation in the making of a just, humane society cannot be denied, the Constitution mandated Congress to pass a law which enable our overseas Filipino workers to vote for the candidates in the national positions. Absentee voting is a electoral process that enables persons who cannot appear at their designated polling places to vote from another locations. So in my opinion, absentee voting must be facilitated well by accessible election system. So means that, for example, the government should provide no excuse absentee voting and permanent absentee voting given the clear impact that this has on voters enfranchisement and the relatively minimal cost involved. This should be an easy decision for most state legislators. Second, government or state should provide electronic ballot delivery to all voters. Means that for using electronic ballot, delivery allows voters to use a computer to download complete and print their absentee ballots. The voter then mails in this ballot just like current absentee ballots. There are two main benefits of electronic delivery. First, it eliminates the cost of mailing out ballots to voters. And second, it allows individuals with disabilities to use the assistive technology on their computers to complete the ballot. Voters do not send completed ballots over the internet, so the security risks are no greater than other vote-by-mail uh, systems. Moreover, this option is already available for military and overseas voters in many states, so it would be relatively easy to extend it to all voters and it is also applicable here in the Philippines. And in many countries, it appears improving absentee voting is one of the brightest solutions for quickly and easily making elections more accessible for all voters or for all qualified voters. Disabled and illiterate. The Congress shall also design a procedure for disabled and the illiterate to vote without the assistance of the other person until they shall be allowed to vote under existing laws and such rules as the Commission on Election may promulgate to protect the secrecy of the ballot. Literates and disabled are also a potent force in the making of our society into a better place 
for us to live it. Most especially important in times of suffrage or in times of elections. So it means that if you cannot read and write or you are a person with disabilities, voting officials are required to permit you to receive assistance uh, from a person of your choice so that you can vote properly. States may require you to provide some information of your choice so that you can vote. States may also require you to provide some information including identification information such as race in order to determine your eligibility to vote and prevent voter food or yung tinatawag na dayaan sa election. The reason why Congress when they did to pass a law to this effect is however pending the Congress to pass the said law. The disabled and the illiterate may be allowed to vote under the old rule or as the Commission on Election may promulgate the purpose. Republic Act 7166, Section 12. Thereof provides for absentee voting but is applicable only to the elections for the President, Vice President, and Senators, and limited to members of the AFP and the PNP, and other government employees and officers who are duly registered voters and who during the election day may temporarily be assigned in connection with their election assignment. Registration of Voters In order to acquire juridical personality as a political party to entitle it to the benefits and privilege granted under the Constitution and the laws, and in order to participate in the party list system, the group must register with the Kamala by filing with the same office, not later than 90 days before election. A verified petition stating its desire to participate in the party list system as the National Regional Sectoral Party Organization or Coalition of such parties or organization. Election integrity depends on a fair, impartial, transparent process for registering parties. There must be reasonable eligibility criteria, consistent procedures in order to have a proper registration procedure. Suffrage is a duty. Aside from being a right, suffrage is also deemed a duty or an obligation to vote. The reason is that suffrage is the means to establish a just and humane society in terms of a better choice for public officers in a democratic country. So in times of duty, teachers are often said to be the heroes of every election season. They are responsible in counting and recounting of the ballots. Comelec authority, flowing from its constitutional power to enforce and administer all laws and regulation relative to the conduct of the election and its powers to register and regulate political parties the Comelec may resolve matters involving ascertainment of the identity of the political party and its legitimate officers. Commission on Election There shall be a Commission on Election to be composed of chairman and six commissioners who shall be natural-born citizens of the Philippines and at the time of their appointment, at least 35 years of age, holder of college degree and must not have been a candidate for any elected position in the immediately preceding election. However, a majority thereof, including the chairman, shall be the members of the Philippine Bar who have been engaged in the practice of law for at least 10 years. Appointment of the Commissioners The Chairman and the Commissioner shall be appointed by the President with the consent of the Commission on Appointments for a term of seven years without reappointment. 
So when there is a vacancy in the chairmanship of the Kamalek, the association commissioner shall elect from among them a temporary chairman until the president shall have appointed a permanent chairman. The president has no power to designate a temporary chairman. Electoral offense. No pardon, amnesty, or suspension of sentence for violation of election laws and regulation shall be granted by the president without the favorable recommendation of the commission. So example of electoral offense in the Philippines is in every election in the Philippines, vote buying always comes up as a major concern of electoral offense. It is a chronic plug that perennially shakes our faith in the integrity of electoral process and democracy itself. Vote buying and vote selling obstruct the democratic process, yet they remain pervasive in many developing democracies. As researchers ask voters in the Philippines to make a simple, unenforceable, un unenforceable promise not to accept money from politicians or to promise to vote according to the, their conscience, even if they do accept money to test the impact of promise on voters' behavior, a majority of respondents made promises not to sell their votes.